We're going. All right. So um, I've been making a lot of cider uh, this year. Uh, it's my first year here in New Haven to be doing this kind of stuff. I did it for two years when I was up in Portland, Oregon. Um, but yeah, it's a whole new map of get of getting more apples from. Um, so so yeah, basically, you know, up here on the computer are some, some pictures of the actual apples themselves. Uh, as well as some of the tools that we've got to make the cider. Um, most of the cider that I make is ends up having alcohol in it. Um, so for you that don't like alcohol, then I'm sorry that's not for you. <laughs> but uh, but it's really delicious for, for you guys to do. Um, and yeah, basically I get 100% of all of my apples from free tree uh, apple trees around the neighborhood. Um, and you know the great part is it's almost a hundred percent of all the apples apple trees that you find around the neighborhood um, are completely like they, they people don't want them at all they they want enough enough apples to make one pie and then the rest of it is just sitting on the ground after a certain period of time and uh, you know just becoming more um, soil uh, so so Right now, around um, September, October, November um, is the, the time to hit it, uh, and I've been doing it a lot. Uh, I've got 85 gallons so far, um, and my my joy is to do 150 gallons with a couple friends. Um, leg legally, it's 100 percent or 100 100 uh, a hundred gallons per person uh, to make uh, at your own health at your own self at your own house um, so so yeah we got to just build build within that um, but but yeah it's uh, it's really fun it's, it's really fun grabbing apples it's fun you know doing yeah. all the things build you know getting them small so you had this tool here yeah uh, tell so, me about it so this is my tool um, this is it's also my my flag for uh, Cascadia, uh, which where where I where I used to live in uh, in Oregon was Cascadia, um, and yeah, this here is the way that I find where, the way that I get all of my apples in the first place. Uh, one when when the apples are a little bit um, smaller. Uh, I can I can grab them up like this, and if it gets a little if the if the tree is a little bit longer or taller, uh, I've got this whole thing that I can extend out. Yeah, do it so it's twice as twice as long, um, and and then you know sometimes I gotta get actually get in the the tree myself and shake it out yeah yeah, yeah. So, so sometimes you know you can't you can't get it all by by your own by your by your uh, your, your stuff yeah um, so tell me about the machine that you have here on the screen yeah so um so that's the press that's the apple press um, you basically so before you get the apples in the, the press, you have to get it um, into little pieces. Um, so basically, uh, this press itself, when I, if I get a little closer, um, the, the top thing here that's a little bit beh behind, um, that is the piece where you put the apples in and there is a there's a whole thing on the side where you can where Turn. you can go back and forth and back and forth and there's a there's a thing inside that sh that shreds all the apples into tiny pieces uh, which sit, sits down here until this is about uh, full and then you got to take a, another piece of wood on top um, which is already into this in this here 
and uh, and then there's a whole thing upstairs, up top that you gotta keep pushing and pushing and pushing, and it pushes the the piece of wood down, which pushes all of the cider the cider out of the apple pieces, mm -hmm. um, and you can get a lot of apple cider out of the apples um, if you've got this kind of um, contraption. Yeah, totally. Yeah, and it's it's really fun. The whole the whole thing is really fun. Uh, I mean, I, I love it myself, so it's it's fun for me for sure. But it's just it's just a good time. Great. Cool.